Grieving families gathered at the inauguration of a COVID-19 victims memorial in Brazil's Rio de Janeiro, paying homage to their lost loved ones and demanding more help from municipal authorities to provide support for families impacted by the pandemic. Close to 400 people died in the Mayor Favela complex, a grouping of 16 favelas on the outskirts of Rio where 140,000 people live in communities ridden by gang violence, economic uncertainty, and the lack of a comprehensive health facility. Here now is a report. Clutching to memories of their loved ones, hundreds of emotional families, friends, and relatives held flowers to commemorate their loved ones. In front of a 65-foot-tall wall with colored tiles, showing the names of the 72 victims of COVID-19. I miss him and all the good things we did together because we were very close. He did take care of himself a lot, but unfortunately, I don't know if it was a moment of carelessness, he died of COVID-19. <laughs> Created by NGO Mare Networks, the memorial is part of a wider project to protect the favela complex against COVID-19. It started in 2020 with free COVID-19 testing, food, cleaning products and medical assistance to care for stricken family members in their homes, all targeting the spread of infection and alleviating the economic effect of the pandemic. The NGO also partnered with Oswaldo Cruz Foundation in July 2021, when almost 37,000 residents were vaccinated with AstraZeneca as a part of an immunization study. The idea of the memorial was to care for the families, understand these losses, think about not only the numbers, there were 380 people that died in the 16 favelas in Mare. And we understand that part of these deaths have to do with the historical negligence of rights that these residents have. Rio has registered over 70% rate of vaccination against the virus. And the numbers of deaths and hospitalized have plummeted from the grim figures earlier this year. Bureau Report, we own. World is one. Let us now take a look at how the world is dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic. Pfizer is submitting its experimental pill for COVID-19 for use or for U.S. authorization. The antiviral pills are said to significantly cut deaths and hospitalizations among infected people. FDA regulators will scrutinize company data on the safety and effectiveness of the drug before making a decision. The drug will be sold in the name of Pax Lovid, that is P-A-X Lovid. Police have been deployed to deal with the repercussions of the Austrian government's vaccine mandate. Unvaccinated people can be fined up to nearly 1,660 US dollars if they violate the lockdown. The ruling prohibits unvaccinated or infected people aged 12 and above from leaving their homes except for basic activities. The rule doesn't apply to children under 12 because they cannot yet officially get vaccinated. Vienna has opened up vaccinations for under 12s as part of a pilot project. Vaccination certificate is mandatory for businesses in Colombian capital Bogota. The government aims to immunize all people against the virus. The measure is mandatory for those above 18 years of age in all creative spaces. The rules will also apply for those over 12 years of age from last week of November. Colombia has fully vaccinated nearly half of its population. However, only around 6.4% of minors have been fully vaccinated. Health workers carried out nighttime COVID-19 vaccinations with military escort in Peru, navigating the steep hills in the eastern outskirts of Lima. The nurses work for about five hours in the crime-ridden Santa Anita neighborhood, inoculating locals who are unable to get to or to go to vaccination centers during the day. 
Peru has the highest COVID-19 death rate in the world, with 6,086 deaths per million inhabitants, despite accounting for only around 0.42% population of the world. Over 200,000 people have died in Peru due to the pandemic. WeOn is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.